Hey guys, my name is Daniel Mudeki and I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. Most importantly, I'd like us to thank God for enabling each and every one of us to be here today. As I always sensitize you, and I'll never stop, be quick to thank God for a new day. That is a gift that which he has given you. There are many who would have loved to have seen a day such as this, but unfortunately, did not get the chance to. So always be careful to sit down and be thankful to God for life. There are many things that God has done in your life, but if you don't sit down and look back, you will have nothing to be grateful for. And so I understand things could be tough in your life, but there is something to be grateful for. That is the gift of a new day. Well, guys, as usual, I leave all my details on the screen right there. And so if you'd like to reach out to me, send me a message, chat me up on my social media pages, send me an email as well, and I'll try my very best to revert to each and every one of you by the grace of God. Could be a question you have, could be a concern, could be a topic you'd like us to tackle on this channel. Feel free, hit me up, and I'll try my very best to get back to each and every one of you. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, kindly press the subscription button and do not forget the notification bell. And if you like this video as well and you feel that the videos bless you, remember to like them and share them with friends so that we can spread this word far and wide so that many people can come to understand their true purpose of why God created them. Well, guys, as we always say, new week, new video. And in today's video, I was really wondering what to talk to you guys about. And so <clears throat> in Kenya, we are approaching our elections in the next couple of days. That will be on the August 9th, 2022. And I felt like I should talk a little bit more about the exercise we are about to face. You see, elections will always come and go. You know, it's a time and a season that a nation uses to put into place the leaders that it wants to lead them for the next five years, as per our Kenyan constitution. But this season will always come and go. One thing that always remains constant is that Kenya will remain Kenya. You know, Kenya is made up of 42 or more different tribes. That means that we are a group of different people brought together by a common purpose that is Kenya. And we must remember that that is a very important thing that we have as a nation. And also what that means is that we are different. We are not all the same. We have different preferences. We have different tastes. We have different cultures. We have different ideologies. We have different thoughts and different desires. But by the end of the day, we are all in one border that we call home. You see, elections in the past have been bitterly contested, dividing us into either two or more different groups that have not brought out that which Kenya deserves to have. And this time as we go to the polls, I'd like to urge you as Kenyans to remember three things and don't forget them. The first and most important one is tolerance you must be willing to tolerate your neighbor. You see, tolerance is awareness that we are different. Tolerance is the acceptance that we have different choices. We have different desires. We have different dreams. And in a society that is made up of different people, it is absolutely paramount that we all tolerate each other. As we go vote in our MCAs, our members of parliament, our county representatives, governors, senators, and president, we must remember that everybody has a choice and you must tolerate your neighbor's choice. Do not allow difference in opinion or difference in choice to deteriorate to physical violence, abuse on social media, and disagreements that will break this country apart. As I said when I was beginning this video, is that Kenya will remain. Tomorrow will come. And so you must remember that the elections is just a five-year cycle exercise that is in our constitution that helps us put into place leaders 
who we aspire to lead us for the next five years. So let us be tolerant of one another. Secondly, we must remember that peace is an absolutely important environment for anything to thrive. You know, I remember when I talk to people, I tell them, the most priceless thing in life is peace of mind. You could have the money, you could have the power, you could have the fame, you could have all these things that people look for, but if you lack peace of mind, you'll never get rest. Peace is absolutely important in the prosperity of any family, any nation, or anything in the world that we live in. And so we must remember, guys, that peace is absolutely important. Do not allow yourself to be used to cause any form of unrest in this nation. Our youth, kindly, remember, tomorrow will always come. It's not the end of the world. And so don't allow yourself to be used by politicians who do not want the best for you. Don't allow them to send you to the streets. Don't allow them to cause you to cause mayhem in this country simply because their desires have not been met. Kenya is a group of over 52 million people and peace is absolutely important for all of us. And so let's be our brother's keeper and ensure that peace prevails. Lastly is love. Love encapsulate. It encompasses all these things I've talked about. You know, guys, when I go to the scripture, it always says the two most important commandments are love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. And secondly, love your neighbor as you love yourself. That which you wouldn't want someone to do to you, don't do to somebody else. If it annoys you when somebody abuses you, if it annoys you when somebody looks down upon you, if it annoys you when somebody looks down upon your choices, then do not do that to other people. Love them, just as you love yourself. Just as you want God to love you, then you must reciprocate the same love to your neighbors. Love covers a multitude of sin. Love brings people together. Love forms bonds and ties that cannot be broken. And so we must remember that Kenya is bigger than all of us. Kenya will be here. And so let us not allow ourselves to break this country, to distort the development and the growth that we've had for the past couple of years, simply because of a one day event. Let's be careful. Let's be tolerant. Peace must be maintained and love encapsulates all these things. And guys, I want to tell you one thing. By the end of the day, we'll have a leader, all right? But we must ask ourselves, what type of leaders will we have? You know, from the MCA all the way to the president, will we have our choice? Will we have the leader we deserve? Or will we have a leader or leaders given to us by God? You know, this reminds me of the story in the Bible when the Israelites went and asked God for a king you know, God knew it not to be the right move, but they insisted. And they said, we want to be like other nations. We want a king like everybody else. And he warned them of the pros and cons that come with that. But they insisted, and God gave them their choice. He gave them soul. Soul was not what he wanted for them. But they insisted on it, and that is what they got. And so I ask you today, Kenyans, are we going to get the leader who God wants us to have? Are we going to get the leader that we deserve or the leader that we want? And so remember, vote wisely. Vote clearly. And pray that God will give you wisdom so that you can elect a person who will bring change to the needs that which you have. Don't vote tribal, man. Kenya, I told you, is a bringing together of different cultures. And so we can't afford to vote tribal. You know, our needs are the same. 
And so when a leader comes and tells you, I speak for my community, you need to ask yourself a question. Aren't our needs primarily the same? We want good education for our children. We want affordable housing for our families. We want access to opportunities, equal access to opportunities for everyone. We want good health care. We want good infrastructure. We want an environment where business can thrive. Isn't that what we all want? The differences might be simply because of where we are from. You know, a family in, for example, the arid areas of Kenya would want water and uh, irrigation, while a family from probably an area that is well irrigated and uh, has water would want something else. Those are the little differences. But by the end of the day, we are brought together by similar desires, wanting a better life. And so remember, when we go to the polls, Kenya is our country. Kenya is our only home. We cannot call any other place Kenya. It was given to us for a reason and for a purpose and for a plan. And so let's nurture it. Let's take care of it. Let's love it. Let's love one another. Let the world know we are Kenyans because of our love for one another. Let's not allow ourselves to go down the route that has caused destruction to many nations. And so remember the 9th of August is a chance for us to put in place leaders who will lead us for the next five years. It's a one day event that will come and pass. But by the end of the day, we are one. And so I pray that God will give us wisdom, knowledge and understanding. And before we end this video, I'd like us just to say a short prayer in regard to this. Oh Lord, I come before you thanking you, Heavenly Father, for the gift of life. I thank you for the gift of health. I thank you for the gift of this nation that you've given us, this home that you've given us as Kenyans, a place where we can call home, a place where we've grown up, a place where, Heavenly Father, we have become who we are. And Lord, as we go through to a new an in an election season on the 9th of August 2022. I pray that Father you shall give us wisdom, give us knowledge, give us understanding, give us insight heavenly Father that comes only from you. Dear Lord, I pray that Father you will forgive us as a nation where we have sinned against you, where Lord we have done that which is wrong, where Father we do not deserve your mercy or your kindness, we ask you to forgive us and give us the kindness and love that which only comes from you. That Heavenly Father we shall go peacefully to the polls Heavenly Father, we shall elect our leaders all the way from MCAs, members of parliament, senators, governors and the president Heavenly Father. We shall do it peacefully dear Lord and Heavenly Father you shall give us leaders who will move this country to where it needs to be. Dear Lord, I pray that, Father, you shall give us tolerance for each other. Lord, you shall give us love for each other. And most importantly, Kenya will be a peaceful place where everybody can feel at home, Heavenly dear God. Most importantly, I pray, Heavenly Father, that you shall guide us on that day in every decision we make. And honor and glory shall be to your name. Father, we thank you, we worship you, we adore you. For it is in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. My friends, let us love one another. The 9th of August 2022 is a one-day process. Kenya will be there after that day. And so let's be careful and let's, let, and let's make the right decision. Until next time, take care and God bless.